about health, wealth, and peace of mind. So I'm really excited today because you heard the bio for my fabulous guests. And I always let my guests dial it in like it's a mastermind. And I ask them, what title? Where do you want to go with this? It's a great opportunity, all the thousands of people that are listening. And I want you all to tell your friends and make sure you subscribe. Push that button there because we're going to have a lot more great guests coming and you want to you want to be there so subscribe review do all the good things so we keep going and again I want to talk about Kathleen and she's got she came in with this really cool title called the current of currency right Kathleen yes oh Chris it's so delightful to be with you on your money 911 podcast thank you for everything you're doing I've listened to your podcast and they're so helpful and they're so heartful too. And all of the guests you've had, it's just, it was, I could spend days honestly listening and it was like, okay, I'm just going to binge Chris podcast here. All right. I feel so uh, delightfully fulfilled oh. as a result of that. So thank you. Oh, thank you. I'm going to record that. That's a great review. Absolutely. That's so beautiful because you know, empowering people and, you know, money's energy. So that's why I talk about health, wealth, and peace of mind, because you can have all the millions in the world, but if you don't have your health, you can't enjoy it and, or you don't have peace of mind, right? So it all is, all works together. And, and like you, like you said, the current of currency, mm. that, that's really energetic because money is energy. Yeah. So tell, tell us why you're come from where are you coming from why is is your lead on the current of currency oh absolutely well it's to me is such a an important topic around currency around money around really energy as you were saying in our lives and you know i've had this great privilege of interviewing myself and also coaching and mentoring thousands of women and men around the world and I've also just noticed this thing about where do we stop ourselves, and where do we feel perhaps not deserving of generating, earning, creating, accepting, and allowing more money. And you know, Chris, I mean, with the topics that you you focus on, money could be also it could also represent power. It could represent connection for people. It represents love and acceptance. I mean, it's just so, it's such a loaded topic, but where, where is it that in our lives, the current isn't flowing and it's so important. And, you know, in our discussion before your wonderful podcast today, it's, it's also looking at, you know, where do we get stopped? Where do we stop it? And, you know, uh, what are we not even really aware of when it comes to currency? So that's I've been just yeah. really thinking a lot about it, writing a lot about it and teaching a lot about it too. And, and you know, firsthand thinking yeah. about it for myself. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Starts with us first, doesn't it? Yeah. First. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I could so relate. Cause I, I remember when I, you know, around year 25 of my 32 years in practice and and helping over, you know, 6,000 people and no one on my watch ever lost a dime in any market risk. And I realized I had something unique and then I'm getting a tap on the shoulder, write a book. Or like, I don't want to write a book. I write songs. And, you know, after, you know, God says, write a book. Oh, all right, sure. <laughs> okay. But I pushed it off for a few years. And then I spent like 10 years going to all the marketing classes. And, and mm. I realized even as blessed as I was, I really had a lot of mindset things of, because I was being pushed into a place that was uncomfortable. It took some faith and it was requiring me to, you know, get out on stages, with bigger audiences. I mean, I've been speaking for decades, but it was like in a bigger way. And I was told download millions for millions of people. It was like, there's all this money in print and we can channel it for good things. Just like I'm working on in the, the mastermind and C-suite, right, of the conscious giving council. So that, you know, that's where I'm headed, right? But uh, there's so many trips. There's so meaning trips where you can stumble, right, on the mindset, on that empowerment, right? Oh, absolutely. And 
you know, what you just said, so many things are so important about that, that I think it's, it's just a, also a process of who we've been can inform us to where we can go, you know, the successes, the quote unquote failures, what we've learned along the way, but also where, where we're going oftentimes is un chartered territory. And so, you know, so therefore we can get the current mixed up, you know, what's really the current here and, you know, our positive and negative polarities can get messed up. And so calibrating to back to what's true for us, what's real for us, what's in our heart. And your podcast is so beautiful about incorporating health and wealth and heart and the wholeness of who we are. But I also now more than ever to be around people who can see us in a higher light. And that is so, so important because we can't often, I know I couldn't see it for myself. And so I needed others who were further along the path to shine the light on me and just say, listen, Kathleen, this is what's possible for you because I couldn't see it. The current was murky. You know, right. so, you know, yeah, right. it was not a uh, blue seas here, you know, it was a lot of right. you know, red ocean yeah. you know, kind of thing. So get out to that blue ocean strategy, you know, right. Yeah, that's, that's so and that's the honest truth of it. And, and we're all lifting why we climb. I mean, you yeah. know, we can't do it alone. It yeah. does take two or more. We it's and there's a symbiotic, you know, it's like pollinating, like when we connect, you know, like, you and I connect and then I get ideas and inspirations and, or you say something, you know, about something that I don't even see about myself. And then all of a sudden you get a new point of view. You've had a ton of experience. I mean, you've coached thousands of CEOs and entrepreneurs and what was your shift? Cause you shifted from, you know, into that mode and and you've really seemed to really target even more lately right yeah oh thank you yes you know it was it was a journey of progressing toward owning my power owning my gifts my talents my commitment and realizing i i don't really know chris when it was but it was kind it was a moment of just knowing that i was playing small ball I just had this feeling that, you know, I was, I was meant to do more things. I was meant to serve more people. And it was, I'm sure it was in prayer or meditation to, to really connect with my higher power, the gods and the goddesses to say, use me for a higher purpose. And, and, and it was that calling that had me say, okay, I can be mentoring, guiding people regionally. And nationally and globally. And so it was the visualization and I'm a a heart-centered hypnotherapist. So I used my heart to think about like athletes do visualizing the Olympic gold medal up on the stands and thinking about what could be possible, you know, what could be possible and then visualizing the feeling of it, you know, the feeling of contribution, the feeling of the wholeness of it and the richness of it the currency is moving, you know, yes, um, and, yes. but yet my feet underneath me are right. stable, secure, and I'm safe too. That's the yes. other thing. I'm safe. Yeah. That's yeah. very cool. Because, you know, that, and you know, what you said reminds me of, I had a guest, a Greg Braden, I'm sure you've heard of him. Oh, guy, terrific. Right? And Great. he's God code. He's going to be back in October. And, but he, one of his research projects they've actually right uncovered one of the original scrolls you know even before the bible was all broken up into pieces you know the the original original you know as far back as they could find it and there's a really neat thing which was exactly what you had said about prayer and the way that they said about how to pray you know, it's all been changed since then, so it's watered down. But basically, was exactly what you're talking about. Where in its essence, you're you're just in gratitude that you're already living in the prayer, right? You're okay. you're just like you're talking about winning that gold medal and standing on the stand and and you know honoring you know your country and you did it and all of those things, those feelings, right? Oh, Chris, yes, and 
you know, at the same time, knowing that, you know, my version of that is where I'm surrounded holding hands with all of the people that I'm able to make an impact with and for. So that visualization of that ripple effect and remembering in our, in my body and in our bodies, what's, what's the energetic, where does it feel really good in our bodies? And for me, it was like, what lights up when I'm able to see someone else make a transformation, make a change, make a shift, have a win and love their life. You know, that's like, wow, it's just such, such a privilege. And I realized in that moment that I could do be doing more of that. And so, so visualizing, making an impact on 10 people, one person, 10, 20, 100, 1,000, 10,000, you know, rip the ripple effect of it, but ultimately creating communities of people that are doing the same. Really, that's it. And, and exactly. you know, conscious communities, lots of circulation of currency and right. really rising every, we all are rising up, as you were saying, you know, just rising it all up because there's, there's a lot, obviously, that's working in the world now. There's a yeah. lot that's not working. And so rising and raising our energy, the right. currency, the contribution, and at the same time, standing for me in who I am, what I do, what I stand for, my charter for my life. I've created a charter, which is I stand for people loving their lives and I'm contributing to people loving their lives as well. So standing for and contributing to people loving their lives. And that comes out in a variety of ways, you know? Yeah. 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 And, you know, and I, would you know, you find a lot of people are not loving their lives and they don't even know how to love their lives and they're lost in the in the stress of the world and everything that's coming at us so it is like like the river of life Mm -hmm. and there's these little dams for the river flowing i have a song called flow you probably you would really like it which is you know flow and be responsive to the innermost feeling so spirit is talking to us on the inside and you're going through life and when you learn how to listen right and and then the little small voice says turn right and you obey that which takes faith then there's the gift right there's a little blessing at the end where you know other doors open up or what you need shows up and so it's learning how to be in the flow and then what happens now, Kathleen, when you're in the, you're starting to go in this direction and there's no flow, you meet a dam, right? That little currency current is not flowing anymore. So what do you do? What do you tell people to do when they hit the wall or hit the dam where it's not flowing? Oh, what, what a great question, Chris. Yeah. And it happens to all of us, doesn't it? And, yes, and so yes. I think that, yeah, exactly. I think <laughs> that's a really perfect time to step back and to mm-hmm. really feel, I, I, I believe in feeling, stopping and saying, what, what's happening with my body? What's happening with my mind, my heart and energetically noticing what's happening and just turning back into our, our prayer, our meditation, our thoughtful you know, state of quietness and really noticing what's happening and notice where could I be blocking the flow? Mm -hmm. What's happening for me? Do I have, uh, do, do I have some expectation that it should be going a certain way? Do I have a belief that I need to release about what's possible for me? What's not possible for me? Are there thoughts that are happening? Do I have conflicting thoughts? Like I want this, but I don't. And I know that happened to me, to me for a long time is the push and the pull of success. I want it, but yet mm, I don't know that I want it because it means I'm going to be more responsible to more, <laughs> be, have to be more responsible to more people. Or right. I want it, but yet, okay, then I'm going to have to like be ready to look my best when I go to the grocery store in my local community because <laughs> someone may see me and blah, 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 you know, silly stuff, you know? Yeah, so yeah. it's so those are the things that block the flow and being then really crystal clear about what I want, why do I want it, and how does it make how does it make a difference for others? You know, what's my intention behind what it is that I want? And I think 
the final thing is, um, am I really, really committed to, and am I focused on, it has to look a certain way. I mean, that, that was how I operated for a long period of time is success need, for me needed to look a certain way, live in a yeah. certain type of house, right, work with a particular right. kind of client, drive a particular car, right. you know, uh, do, and, and it's amazing how it doesn't, doesn't come out that way. No. You know, when I'm just committed to, this is how I'd like for it to look. I want to serve thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people. Yes. millions of people, perhaps just be yes. love what yes. I'm doing, bring my heart, connect with beautiful people like you and have a message that's empowering and supportive and loving and caring. That's it right there. And, and, it, and it, I'm seeing as you're talking, it was like a, you know, it's a whirlwind and it, and it catches everything. So, so as all these good people unite and all the things that are going on in the world, the negative and the wars and the rumors of wars and all of those things are going on. I, I have this vision at the same time. All these pe people of light are, 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 you know, swirling in the middle. They're raising up. And so all those things could be going on, but that's one world. And then there's another world that's waking up, that's connecting, not in competition, but seeing how we can all help each other. We all have pieces. I can't do it alone. I need you, right? And we're all like symbiotic, you know, it works together. And I think because there's so much noise, right? And and I had a gift from my husband, my partner, and he, he, before he crossed over, he had for years, he'd tell me, you know, at the end of the day, just sit down and just relax, let it go, you know, be still. I never did it. It was like, I just, now I got to finish this. I got to work. I got to, you know, I was just, I'm a workaholic. And after he left, it was like, whoa, I need to do that. I need to hear the spirit, right? Because I was just like all caught up in all the stuff outside. So what I started was, and not, not any like official, you know, practice other than at the end of the day, I'd sit down, let go, you know, breathe, let go, let God, and just let everything get out of my brain and clear. And what I found was all the stress would go and I get my next day's assignment, and was, and I've been doing it for a number of years now, which has totally changed my trajectory. Where the the arc comes closer, the more that my mind and my heart connect, it's almost I can see it going faster. You can almost think it, and it manifests. Like the person just showed up that's launching my product, or the person just showed up that does right that the part that's missing. Yes, it's so uh, the arc. Oh my gosh, su such great examples, Chris. And you know what I'm also hearing you say is that you slow down enough to calm yourself enough yes. to really like let it flow, exactly. and to allow resources and people and opportunities to come to you. Uh, because I, I like you, can completely relate. I spent so many years chasing. Right. that you know chasing it you know chasing and work 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 and you know all that that right. to actually it just it it took so much practice for me to sit back stand back and just allow and yeah sit in the wonder of it trust in that all is well that's my one of my mantras is yes calming myself down and just trusting that all yes. is well Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And, I do that too, you know, and, and, or if I'm stressed about something that's not quite where it's going to work out, it will all, it all works together. It's all going to be good. You know, that's all I want. And, and it shifts it. It's like, and, and you know, and that's what we do with legacy shift because legacy is a living legacy. It's not an end of the life legacy. It's how you shift your life in, in the present moment and take all of those things into to knowing it's all good, it's all gonna work out good. I do the same thing. You say it so you say it so well though. I really appreciate that. Well, thank you. We're sisters yes. on the same path, aren't That's we, Chris? It. That's it. Sisters on the journey for sure. I feel that so much. And I mean, I'm, you know, proud to be with you on the C-suite and you are leading all kinds of, you have a real great group. Why don't you tell everybody? I just want you to share that because it's, Ooh. you know, you have a fabulous group council that you're leading there. Yes. Thank you. 
Shout out to C-Suite Network. I'm a longtime C-Suite Network member and investor in C-Suite and also founder of C-Suite Network's Women's Coaching and Consulting Council. And uh, you know, you mentioned earlier light workers and people right. bring the light. And that's what we do as coaches. And that's what we do as consultants is we bring light to people, to their work, to their lives. And so I get the great privilege to have a council, created it with one other person. And now we're growing and growing and growing. And you know, the council, we get together, we promote and showcase and highlight, give coaches and consultants, trusted advisors, thought leaders, a platform, Chris, because if you're a coach on your own, or if you're a consultant on your own, it's tough. It's really, yeah. really tough. And we elevate all of the coaches in our council and uh, help them with their intellectual property, give them a platform that they can, they can really shine brightly. And then we give them this great third party promotion and, uh, you know, social proof to tell everyone authentically how wonderful they are. And then that then gives them even more confidence and gives them the opportunity to work with more clients around the world. So it's a platform, it's a sisterhood. It's a, it's just, it's one of the most joyous things that I do in my life is building our council and supporting our coaches. You, you are, you're like, a, you're just this little joy bubble. And, and, you know, I'm, I'm new in the C-suite. So when I first came in, you're like this guardian angel that shows up and you kind of put your, your spiritual arms around me and, you know, it's like, and said some very kind things to me, you know, as we went through our processes and, and, and so it's always a joy to see you and to see how you've taken all of those years of your coaching and training with CEOs and entrepreneurs and have now and helping women who, you know, a lot of us have major challenges that, you know, that it's time to rise and shine and be sisters and not be in a competitive thing because we're, we're all beautiful. We all have things to share and it goes so much faster. It's like lightning. We, we, you know, we're connecting and it's like arcs and we yeah. connect and then it goes to the next level. So I, I, that everybody should check that out. You have a podcast too, don't you? You know, I'm starting one this year okay. and uh, I'm going to talk about success acceleration for women. And, you know, I love men too. I, you know, I, yeah. I, I love families. I love, yeah. you know, I, right. I, I love people. Uh -huh. And we know in the business community that if we're trying to be all things to all people, it's not such a great marketing move. Yeah. And so I feel like you know, I can relate to the woman's journey and, you know, the woman's coach's journey, consultant's journey. And so uh, that's, that's my, my niche. And uh, I also believe that when I support women coaches, I also get to support their partners, their families, and their communities. So right. I think it's all good, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah. Absolutely. It is. And, and, and it's a good thing because, you know, I mean, I, I have about 80% women that come into, but I'm, I work with a lot of men too. And I don't even look at that, honestly. Right. Yeah. I just see that there's more of a, more women that need the healthy money, financial help. So they're, they're gravitating to me because they're ending up with inheritances or, or just their own personal life. And there's, I, well, I don't know what the stats are, five to one or something. So, and you got, and our hearts are, I want to help millions of people, but well, you got to target it. So right. that's a, that's a beautiful target. You've done a wonderful job of just to see how you are with people in, in, you know, the one-on-one -on -one and daily, you know, when we meet up in the groups and stuff is, is really encouraging and inspiring and, and so tell me, do, what, what is on, what are you excited about right now? Do you have anything that's coming up for you that you're really excited about? Well, my goodness, it, it, uh, I'll tell you, it seems like every day is something to be excited about. I mean, I really feel that. Um, yeah. And, you know, uh, from our council, we have, we're going to be celebrating International Women's Day and International Women's Week. We have a whole series of programs where, again, we get to feature our faculty, our STEAM faculty. And uh, the theme of our program for the week is called Own It. Own right. It. Owning our power and our purpose and our profits and our presence. 
And so I get really excited about that. And then other programs through the month, month were uh, talking a little bit more about marketing and about how to do challenges, boot camps, summits, you know, kind of the tactical part of oh, building. Oh, that's a business. good. Yeah. yeah, thank you. And ultimately, it's also how to step into our thought leadership. And, you know, what, what does that mean to own our power and own our deservability? And also then how do we express it out into the world in the way of a podcast, in the way of a book, in the way of courses and groups and all kinds of wonderful things. So yeah, we can't keep it a secret anymore, Chris. We've got to just let it rip and That's get it. it out there, right? There you go. There you go. That's it. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. Now, maybe just to cap everything off, why don't you, do you have one special final thing you want to leave with everybody before you give them how to contact you? Oh, thank you. Yes. Well, I really, my mind is on right now that it's our time. It's all of our time. So whomever is now listening to your podcast, Chris, the Money 911 podcast, just claiming that it's your time. It's your time yes. to step up. It's your time to break through whatever is in the way of your fullness, of your fun, of your freedom, and just the life that you want to live. It's your time. Take just the next small step. Wonderful. And that's my message for today. Wonderful, beautiful, freedom and fun. That sounds fabulous. And take the next step, right? Go in faith. Don't be afraid. Just do it. <laughs> yeah, one small step. That's all one it takes. small yeah. step. That's all it took. Exactly. Be that's so beautiful. It sounds like I'm already hearing a song about that. Okay. <laughs> I think you well, could write a song and sing a song about that, Chris. Well, We've got to talk about some collaboration on that. There you I go. Like that. We definitely, that'll definitely be easy for sure. For sure. Beautiful. But, yeah. but before we, we hop off here, why don't you tell everybody how they can contact you? Yes, absolutely. Well, KathleenCaldwell.com, www.KathleenCaldwell, K-A-T-H-L-E-N, Caldwell, C-A-L-D-W-E-L-L. -L -L. So they can go, go to my website and I've got all kinds of downloadable resources. I have meditations. I've got action sheets. I've got all kinds of checklists, all kinds of neat things that people can download as my gift from me to you. Fabulous. All you right. All the social networks, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Thank okay. You. Thank you. This has been fabulous really to be with you today and we'll look forward to seeing you again. How about that? Chris, my delight. Thanks for the great opportunity to be on your podcast, Money 911. It's been a joy. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. See ya. There's so much to learn about healthy money. I hope today's discussion brings you one step closer to securing and protecting your future. So you can get started on the right foot, go to meetwithchrismeller.com and schedule your free financial fitness strategy session. Thank you for listening. And please subscribe to Money 911 so you don't miss our next episode, which includes health, wealth, and peace of mind.